Yeah, this might be November when this video comes out, but I recorded this in October. Time travel. It's Photo Plus Expo time. It's time for Photo Plus Expo. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're about to head to Photo Plus Expo at the Javits Center in Manhattan, New York City. In two days, I am packing up my gear and heading into Photo Plus Expo to meet with some vendors, get my hands on some products, and just have a good time and just connect with other photographers. So from here out, I'm about to walk, I'm about to hop on a bus, and I'm about to just spend some time on the expo floor and maybe some of the sessions. Let's do this thing. I want to spend as little time here as I can because I want to go out there and take pictures of birds. I'm a bird photographer. So, um, thank you, thank you. So, you know, I am really about telling the most powerful stories. Um, I think we were at a really... Okay, so day one of Photo Plus Expo is done. I uh, had some great meetings. I met with the Narbox people, Photofocus, Skyloom, On One. Got to see my friend Tamara Lackey, Brian Matias, Colby Brown. Uh, had a lot of just good social uh, gatherings and talks. And then I had a meeting with Ben Q and uh, Spider Holster and, and so on. And now I am heading back to the bus station so I can hop on a bus and go back home. And uh, I have a feeling I won't be getting back too late because it's going to take a while to catch the bus and then to actually you know, the hour bus ride back or whatever. Here's a horse. So I will be able to get my hands on some of the products that I got to see today and uh, get to try out. I finally did get to try the Z7. Tamara Lackey let me play with hers. Got some funny video footage of her and her husband um, on her camera, on her memory card. Uh, but it's cool to be able to actually get my hands on it. And I'm looking forward to potentially trying out the Narbox, uh, doing a review of a new BenQ monitor. That's beautiful 4K HDR monitor. Potentially some other stuff. And I uh, might have made a cool connection for a spider holster. Would be kind of nice to have been able to have been a part of. So yeah, so many uh, good things and it's only day one. We'll see what day two has for us. I almost forgot to mention a mistake that I made, which uh, my little tabletop tripod, which I often use for vlogging, because I can hold a tripod instead of the camera, which right now I'm just holding the camera. <laughs> I had it for the karate test uh, video that I was recording earlier in the week, and I forgot to chew it, just put it into the bag that I was bringing to the photo show. So I don't have that. And that uh, just mean, meant that I'm holding the camera in a different way than I would usually for something like this, but it's not the end of the world, it's okay. I can get by and tomorrow I come back, so maybe I can bring it tomorrow. And uh, that's that. Note to self, don't forget stuff that you wanted to bring to an event. Make a list. Okay, day two of Photo Plus Expo. I'm recording this on my phone right now. I'm at the bus stop waiting 
to get in. A lot of trucks going by on this beautiful, cold fall day. Uh, it's about 40 degrees right now. You might be able to see the steam coming out of my mouth as I talk. Um, so I have no meeting scheduled today. I'm just going in to hang out, socialize, have some fun, enjoy the show. Uh, I do have one coffee meeting, but it's not really a meeting. It's just coffee. <laughs> um, should be fun. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I will be uh, getting some more video footage and stills. I'm gonna go on the photo walk later for Photo Focus, which is at like seven o'clock tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Waiting for my bus, We should be here any minute. I almost forgot to mention that on days like this where I have to go into New York City, uh, I do rely for like not getting bored on the bus. Sorry for all the noise. Uh, to not get bored on the bus, I do rely uh, quite a good amount on podcast listening to music. Usually on the way to something like this, I will listen to podcasts to sort of get me in the mood for the business side of the industry and things like that. And on the way back, just relax and whatnot. Um, I will listen to podcasts, a certain podcast like Gimlet Media's sort of more entertainment story type podcast. And then when I get off the bus and I have to start walking back home, because I live walking distance from the bus stop, I actually switch it to music and that way I can like sing along and jam out on the way home. It kind of just keeps me uh, more excited about the walk home, but um, yeah. So anyway, back to waiting for the bus and the podcast. So I wound up not staying at Photo Plus Expo on Friday night for the Photo Focus photo walk only because there was a nor'easter coming with like 40 mile per hour winds and the time that it was coming I would have had to have been on the bus on the way home and I, I didn't want to have to deal with that mess so I left Photo Plus Expo around 4.30, 5 o'clock, 5.30, something like that, I don't even know. And I hopped on a bus and and, and that was it. Um, but I want to share some final things, <laughs> some interesting things from Photo Plus Expo from day two. First being, Focus Camera was giving out these sort of Gorillapod replicas. It's a 12 inch flexible tripod. Here's what it looks like. Uh, it does have a plate, you unscrew this to, to unlock it, and then you can take out the lens plate. It does have a bubble level on there, which is pretty neat. So it has a quick release for that. But what I'm finding is really interesting is how cheap this plastic looks and feels. Uh, it's just, it, I, I, you know, it's nice that they're giving away something, but I feel like when you give away something that is poorly made, it reflects bad on you. Uh, there's even pieces of plastic just dangling off of here. That's how the quality control on these are just, you know, they probably just sourced it from somewhere overseas. I would not trust this for a camera at all. I would not trust this for a camera. I can, this is fully locked and look how easily I can bend this. <laughs> it's nice like this. It doesn't go out too much. doesn't have too much give, but I would not trust this with a camera. I would trust this with a flash though. Some sort of, something light, a light light like a loom club or a lytro or lytra whatever something like that and the legs do bend so you can you know curve it around something uh, maybe this is good for iphone vlogging sort of like people do with gorilla pods but again i would not trust it for anything heavy like a digital solar a mirrorless anything like that i would not trust this but thank you focus camera for giving these out even though I don't think they're made very well. If you stop by the Think Tank photo booth, you probably saw a really neat roller bag. And this is a fabric that they, fabric that they um, purchased 
and they get most of their fabrics from Viet Vietnam. So they found this fabric and they turned it into a one-of-a-kind roller bag. And they also had pixel pocket rockets or peewee pixels. Peewee pixel pocket rocket for uh, compact flash and SD cards. You can hold, it can hold like some business cards in here. And they turned, they used that fabric for these. And they were giving some of these away. You had to know that they were there. It was kind of like a secret thing, but they had these. And I gave them an idea for what to do with that roller because a lot of people were interested in it and a lot of people were asking how much it was. So I told them that they should pick a nonprofit charity of their choice and auction that roller off and donate 100% of the proceeds minus, you know, like the, the profits basically, minus how much it actually costs to make that bag. Donate that to the, tra the charity, you know, donate the, the profit from the bag and then sell these for the same amount that they would sell these normally in the normal fabric colors because these are really fun. I also got to see Raphael Pons from Photo Pills. I happened to be at the Nikon booth at the time and he saw me and he came up and had a really good conversation about the future of Photo Pills and I'm really, really excited about it. Really cool to meet you, Raphael. Right as I was finishing up the day, I stopped by the Panasonic booth. Um, Joseph, Photo Joseph, you probably know him from YouTube, Photo Joseph. He was leading a photo walk um, starting at the Panasonic booth and it was kind of conflicted with the photo focus photo walk. I actually decided to not go to either of those, like I said, due to the weather, but I stopped by to say hi to Joseph. Uh, we had some YouTube interaction. I've been watching his videos for years, so it was cool to meet him in person finally. And um, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. So there's a lot of cool products. I finally got my hand on the Nikon Z7, the Z7, and I just gotta stop saying Nikon, it's Nikon. I keep doing that. I got to see a lot of cool people, of course, people that I, I, I like to see at all these trade shows and people I wish I could see more and more, but that we live all over the world and it's hard. So Photo Plus Expo was fantastic. It was a great year. The, the show did go down in size a little bit. One of the aisles was actually VR stuff from a whole nother trade show that actually joined forces. So there was a lot less vendors. I mean, Autorama was not even there and they're a New York City company. They should have been there. There was a Best Buy booth, which I thought was interesting. They're advertising on Chelsea and Tony Northrup's YouTube channel. They're one of the ads. You'll, you'll see that if you check that out. Um, it was a weird booth. It was just a stage and they had a bunch of cameras lined up and it, it's Best Buy. I mean, really, b and had a giant booth. It was probably a 40 by 60. It was giant and they weren't there on Saturday and they packed up early on Friday. And it's because they are, well, it's a Hasidic owned company and they, have to for Shabbat and I get it but why spend so much money on the trade show for the booth alone they probably spent over a hundred thousand dollars on just the booth and they weren't even there on Saturday I mean I didn't go Saturday but I saw pictures of an empty booth on Saturday there was a lot of companies there that haven't been there in years like like on one but then there were companies that used usually are there but weren't I don't know but it was a cool show and I was glad to have been a part of it and to have you know, go there and be able to talk to the vendors and the people and whatnot and check out some of the sessions and things like that. All the thank you, uh, Photo Plus Expo, for access to everything. I really appreciate it. And um, let's see what happens at the next Photo Plus Expo. I might even be at WPPI. We'll see.